Now, let's do age problem. At ito ay galing kay Alan Siblings. One of our followers dito nag-comment sa ating YouTube channel. At ito yung question niya. Basahin muna natin yung problem dito. Two years ago, your age was half as mine. Eight years from now, your age will be two-third as mine. What is your age and mine? Ang tinatanong dito ay yung present nilang edad. Now, para klaro, gawa natin ito ng table. Your age. My age. Mine. Let M be my age. Ito yung two years ago. So, minus two. Your age was half as mine. So, M over 2. I-keep natin yung now para sa sagot natin. Next, 8 years from now, that is plus 8. 8 years from now, yung edad ni mine, mine, my age, M plus 8. Mali pala, hindi yan plus 8. Kasi itong M na ito ay edad niya 2 years ago. Now, after 8 years, 8 years from now. Kasi yung now natin, that is M plus 2. Yan yung now natin. Kasi ang ginawa natin ay let M be the edad of mine Two years ago. Ngayon, since wala kasi pangalan dito, your, your age, at mine, uh, mine, so yan na lang ang gamitin nating palatandaan dito, yung your at yung mine. Now, M ay edad niya two years ago. Yung now naman ay M plus two. Na dito tayo naman sa, balikan natin itong given, eight years from now, so, M plus 2 plus 8. And that is M plus 10. Ulitin ko. 8 years from now. 8 years from now. Yung now natin ay M plus 2. 8 years from now plus 8. I-add mo muna natin. So, that is 2 plus 8 is equals to 10. So, ang edad niya, 8 years from now, that is M plus 10. Next, your age will be two-third as mine. So, si M plus 10, i-multiply mo ng two-third. Ngayon, i-equate natin yan siya. So, this will be M over 2 plus, plus 10 tayo, plus 10 is equals to Yung two-third M plus 10. Naintindihan nyo ba? Ito yung ginamit natin. Bali, ini-equate natin itong dalawa. Ito yung ginamit natin M over 2. Inaada natin ng 10 para maging, maging equal siya mismo dito sa two-third of M plus 10. So next, pwede na natin siyang isolve. Isolve muna natin ito. This is... 2m over 3 plus, this is 20 over 3, 10m over 2. Para mawala yung denominators natin dito, i-multiply natin ang buong equation ng 6. Bali, hinanapan natin siya ng least common denominator or yung least common multiple dito sa mga denominators natin which is 6. 6m over 2, this is equal to 3m. 6 times 10, that is 60. 6 times 2m over 3, or itong 6 divided by 3, that is equal to, to 2, times 2m, that is 4m. So this is 4m. Plus, dito naman tayo sa 6 times 20 over 3, or si 6 divided by 3 is equals to 2 times 20, that is 40. 
Next, ipagsama natin yung mga like terms. Keep natin si 60. Since si 40 pang add dyan, pang minus na siya dito sa kabila. Then, keep natin si 4M. Ito naman si 3M since pang add siya, pang minus naman dito sa kabila. Now, 4M minus 3M that is equals to 1M or M na lang. 60 minus 40 and that is equals to 20. Therefore, yung edad my age two years ago ay 20. So, wait ha. Pang delete muna natin ito. So, this is M over 2. Ito ay M. So, ang edad niya, mine, two years ago is 20. Again, ang M natin, yan yung edad niya two years ago. Then, your age, that is M divided by 2 or 20 divided by 2, that is equals to 10. So, dito tayo sa now. Since ito ay 2 years ago, mag-add ka lang ng 2. 10 plus 2, that is 12. 20 plus 2, and that is equals to 22. What is your age and mine? Yung isa ay 12. Yung isa ay 22. Another way of solving this. Isa pang paraan. Ito na lang ang i-delete natin. Wait. Ngayon, i don't pa rin tayo sa table method. I-rewrite na lang natin to. Meron tayong two years ago, meron tayong now, at yung eight years from now. Let M be the edad nitong mine, my age, now. Let M be the edad now. Two years ago, that will be M minus 2. Now, basahin natin yung problem. Two years ago, your age was half as mine. So, M minus 2 divided by 2. Eight years from now, your age will be two-thirds as mine. So, eight years ago, this will be M plus 8. Kasi nga, let M be her edad now. Yung edad ni mine. My age, bali. Now, 8 years from now, your age will be 2 third as mine. So, that will be 2 third of M plus 8. Now, ang gagawin natin ay equate natin ito. Equate natin yan. So, this will be M minus 2 over 2 plus 10. Kasi ito ay, yung edad niya now will be plus 2, tapos plus 8, and that is plus 10. Yan ay equal sa edad dito sa 2 third, na multiply natin sa M plus 8. 2 third. Bakit 2 over 2 yan? 2 third yan siya. Now, pwede na natin muna isolve itong isa. So, this will be 2m over 3 plus 16 over 3. And this is m minus 2 over 2 plus 10. Next, i-multiply natin yung buong equation by 6 para wala tayong denominators. So, this will be 6 divided by 2, that is 3. So, i-multiply natin yung 3 sa m minus 2. Plus, 6 times 10, that is 60, equals itong 6 times 2m over 3, and that will be 4m plus, then 6 times 16 over 3, or dito tayo sa 6 divided by 3, and that is 2. 2 times 16 is 32. Isolve muna natin itong dalawa. This is 3m, 3 times negative 2, negative 6, plus 60, equals 4m plus 32. Negative 6 plus 60, that is equals to positive 54. So this is plus 54. 
I-keep natin si 54 dito kasi pagsama natin yung mga like terms. Itong 32, since pang-add siya, kapag ma-transfer, that will be minus 32. 4, 4M, i-keep natin. Tapos si 3M, kapag ma-transfer, magiging minus 3M. 4M minus 3M, that is 1M or M. 50, 54 minus 32, and that is equals to 22. So, what is your age and mine? So, my age is 22. So, this is 22. Tapos, your age now, that is, dito muna tayo, M minus 2 divided by 2. M I equals to 22. So, 22 minus 2, that is equals to 20. So, 20 divided by 2, that is 10. Now, idad niya now, 10 plus 2, kasi itong 20, 20 divided by 2, that is equals to 10. So, itong 10, yan yung idad niya 2 years ago. Plus 2, that is equals to 12. So, yung isa ay 12, my age ay 22. So, ang sagot dito, what is your age and mine? Yung isa ay 12. Ang isa naman ay 22. Thank you for watching at abangan yung mga future videos natin.